Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's video, we will be learning about how to perform linear search in C programming. So before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. As I told, our today's topic is performing linear search in C programming. So let's start. Let us take five elements in an array. So if we take five elements in an array, the array size will be five. So this gives us our first variable, which is n. So here in this case, I am taking the size to be five. So n is equal to five. Now let us take the five elements. So let me take the elements as 12, 15, 16, 17 and 3. So these elements will take up the index like this. A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3 and A of 4. Since the indexing starts from 0, and there are five elements, it will start from 0 and it will end at 4. So a of 0 will be 12 and the last element will be a of 4, which is 3. Now, how to do the linear search? For that, we have to take a number. So let us search the number 17 in our case. So for that, we have to take the next variable, which is key and as I said we are searching the number 17 the value of key here will be 17 and let us take another variable flag which will be initialized to 0 and as soon as we find our number the flag value will be changed or updated to 1 but if we don't find the value of flag it will be 0 itself so the key value will be compared to all the elements in the array. First of all, key will be compared with a of 0, then a of 1, then a of 2. And as you can see here, the key is 17 and it is equal to the element a of 3 in our case, as you can see in the array. Now, as soon as we find the key and it is matched with the element in the array what will happen is we will have to update the value of flag to 1 then we have to get out of the loop for that in c programming we have the break statement with the help of the break statement we will come out of the loop and then we will compare the value stored in the flag variable if the value of flag is 0 then we will say that the number that we were searching was not found and the search was unsuccessful. But if the value of flag is 1, then we can say that the number which we were searching in our array has been found and we will print the search has been successful. So that is it guys. This is the logic behind the program. Let us move on to the editor so that I can show you how to write the program and execute it. So now I will be moving on to the editor. So let's get started here as I am in my editor. First I will write a comment. Search. And I will close the comment box. And then I will start with the header files. stdio.h and conio.h. After that, I will start with my main function. And inside the main function, I will start with initializing the variables. Here, first of all, I will take the array 
which is a of let the size be 10 then i will take the size of the array which is the variable n and then i will take the variable key as i mentioned then i will take the flag and i will initialize it to 0 and finally i will take the loop variable to iterate over the loop which will be i then i will give the semicolon and i will now write the print statement here i will tell the user to enter the array limit or size then I will use the slash in so that I can take the output in the next line then I will use the scanf function so that I can take the input from the user I will use the percentage %d to take the integer value from the user and then I will store it in the variable n and after this I will again use the printf statement so that I can take all the elements in the array one by one so for that I will use the print statement and I will tell enter percent %d so that I can read the n value elements one by one and after this i will again use the slash n so that i can print the input given by the user in the next line and after this i will give the n variable so with the help of this now i will use a for loop and here I will take the loop variable i equal to 0 then I will take the condition i less than n which will be less than the size of the array because it starts from 0 then it can, it can go on to 4 and we will be getting the number of elements I have to give a semicolon here and here also then I will increment the value of i Here I will take a curly braces and here inside the curly braces I will use the scanf function so that I can read the input from the user. I will write percent %d, comma, and a of i so that I can store the numbers provided by the user in the array. So after that again, I will use the printf statement so that I can ask the user which number he or she wants to search. So here I will write enter the number to be searched. And again I will use the slash n so that I can go on to the next line and here I will use the scanf function then I will write percent %d this value will be stored in the key variable Then here now comes the logic of the program here I will use the for loop and the condition will be the same i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus now I will use the if 
statement and here I will check if a of i equal equal the key value then inside the braces I will write as I said flag value will be updated to 1 and then as soon as we have found the number we will break out of this loop and finally after I come out of this for loop here now I will check the value of flag if the value of flag is 1 then I will print it is successful or else if it is not 1 then I will print it is not successful so we can do it in this manner if inside brackets we will write flag that means if the value of flag is 1 then inside the braces I will print number found searches successful then I will give the control to the next line by using the slash in and here I will use the semicolon and after this I will go out of this if and I will use the else for the other condition here inside brackets I will print the opposite which is number not found searches unsuccessful or you can see search field whatever you want that doesn't matter full stop and here also I will give the control to the next line so that it looks it looks good and here I have to give the semicolon and now we are done so this is the entire logic of the program and now let me show you by running it I will run it for you now so here let me zoom it for you and it says enter the array limit or size let me take it as 5 and as I wrote in the program here it says enter five elements one by one now i will take the elements say 12 36 6 17 and say 8 and now it will ask for the number to be searched here let me take as 17 and press enter and now you can see it says number found search is successful so that means we have been able to find this number 17 which is present in this array. Now let me show you another example where I will search for a number which is not present in the array. So I will press any key and then I will run it again by pressing the shortcut F9 and here let me zoom it for you and here I will give the enter the array limit or size to be again 5 say and here I will give the elements to be 1, 2, 3, 6 and say 9 and now let me search for a number which is not present in the array let it be say 4 and let me press enter and here you can see it says number not found search is unsuccessful so this is how we perform linear search with the help of C programming so this is the entire program as you can see here as I told you first we take the array then the array size and then we initialize the key value to the number to be searched and then we initialize the flag value to 0 and this is the loop variable 
then we iterate over the loop and if we find that the number is found then we update the value of flag to 1 and then we print number found and if it is not 1 then we update by saying number not found search is unsuccessful so this is the entire logic i hope you understood so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel codus arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video thank you happy learning